Okay, ready. Thank you. Hey, everyone. Okay, we're rolling here. A uh, new way that uh, Facebook uh, enables us to do the live. So uh, just uh, getting familiar with it. Uh, just went to do a live and just see it now. So uh, appears to be enhanced. <laughs> Gives some more options and, and ease of uh, sharing through multiple platforms at the same time time perhaps like with zoom and youtube uh, it'll be very beneficial for uh, us and uh, communicating also with the rest of uh, uh the rest of the world if you will so uh i've been very busy uh you know many things are happening globally of course and uh, everything uh, divinely is occurring uh, so with this, uh, all of us know to uh, keep the panic and the fear from the public uh, diminished. Don't get involved into the drama with it. Uh, for we know that there are two layers also of reality that are concurring at the same time and they will be integrated. Uh, so again, it's important to know that during this uh, process uh, let's just look at the corona and uh, you know you're getting two visions and getting information from you know a, a duality if you will uh, two different timelines so it's important to know as all are doing but also it's important for ones to do that may, may be just awakening at this time know what is actually occurring and what we refer to uh, what is occurring is the ascension and the coronavirus is a, a huge important part of it and it is a good thing with the corona what it is actually divinely facilitating upon the surface at that time so there are two timelines there's the timeline where hey good day everyone i see i'm maybe glitching a bit here um internet service is not uh has not been rate great here but uh let's see if we can strengthen this so getting back to what i was just saying is that yeah there's layers to reality here you can perceive it that way and you may also wish to look at it two timelines uh you may also wish to look at it as a duality but what you are seeing is that there is a difference between these two timelines for example one of you may be uh receiving in your news feed you know that there's uh hardly any deaths with this coronavirus and you're seeing uh, how it's all divinely orchestrated and, and utilized to the benefit, the full benefit of the ascension. While someone else, uh, because of the fear uh, still within them and their degree of advancement uh, during the ascension, if they're just beginning the first levels of awakening, uh, their world and their reality and the timeline that they will see will be based on what is within them for example if they have uh you know great fear and and not the full understanding of the awakening yet then their timeline will be uh influenced and uh directly from uh fear and negative things whereas they may see uh hundreds thousands millions you know dying of the corona uh, virus and again so there are two uh, things that are occurring uh, however these two realities if you will they they do converge so we have this layer that is the new reality above then we have the masses that are in panic here and, and what's going to occur 
we are the magnetic level that hauls them up to this to create the one timeline, if you will. And this is sort of an anal analogy to uh, to perceive what is happening currently. Uh, so for us, as we do, everything is perfectly and divinely orchestrated. Uh, of course, no fear in any of you know. Uh, you may be living in a city where, you know, there's panic and the streets are bare. Uh, but you also know because of the co-creators that you are, that in the blink of an eye and uh, even in such huge uh, rapid transitions or immediate tra transitions like a, a flash, like a flash point, Point. In fact, you, you actually wake up in a, in a different reality as well. Uh, we know all of our divine attributes uh, that could occur. However, as Father has reminded me several times, that this is a transitional process. So, uh, you know, there may be a flashpoint occur in the futures that's still possible and from uh, from father uh, that is still a consideration however it, I like to keep everything tentative with it because uh, let's say the divine plan it is not written in stone as per all of the details what is written in stone is uh, the new beginning and you know the path to get there to the certain point uh, with this ascension upon the surface, it is ascertained that we get to that certain point. However, uh, it is not fully written in stone and ascertained how we get there. It's a transitional period, and it is a step-by-step -step process. Now, having said that, as all of us know, and even the material confirmations that uh, we see from the matrix over time, these are confirmations that, yes, it is showing that we have successfully integrated uh, very strongly, as a matter of fact, uh, the first ingredients for the freedom uh, from the monetary restraints and the control of the money upon others. And uh, so this is a very opportune time for this ascension and for humanity. So it's no more a guesswork or a speculation. Uh, if you were one not awakening, you, you might speculate it that this was true. You might have guessed. Uh, however, now you're seeing the signs, the confirmations that it is. Uh, they have been trickling out, uh, but more and more they are becoming uh, more, uh, let's say, more extensive you are seeing more of them so again you know this this really is uh, the most auspicious unprecedented time what's occurring now with the deaths that uh that may be involved with this coronavirus there, there's much illusion for example uh, some of these that you are seeing that let's say movie stars or what have you may have the virus or may die is that some of these criminals some of these are criminals that these sort of things are being staged uh, for the masses as well uh, so there's much of an illusion going on and you can also say that this uh, coronavirus is a, a divine guise uh, to just cover up what is currently really happening it's for the best interest of the public so we are creating the new timelines and a lot of this has been set up and it is for the divine benefit and with these deaths what you will see occur yes yeah, some of them are attributed to the virus but as many of you are discovering is that actually um let, let the dark minions more so and say the corrupt ones will be 
the most susceptible to the virus. Now, also, we are in the ascension period, and most of us, most all of you, you uh, to my knowledge, that are watching this, uh, the ones that have been taken uh, for a long time, we, we are going forward with these physical vessels and back. So your multidimensional bodies, your blind body, uh, your light body, me and prepared, as all of you know, that it has been with us. It did not occur for nothing. Uh, it did not occur by chance, as we all know. And yes, you are being prepared to efficiently operate in, in the higher dimensions of reality also part of this ascension transitioning out of the lower density of the 3d was eliminated if you will the third density for us uh, we were transported to a temporary fourth dimension uh, dimensional space where things change there uh, to continue with this ascension and uh, what we have done, many of us, many of you, we have gone ahead and created uh, the new timelines and the template for the new timelines. And uh, one of the biggest uh, thing for that new 5D template uh, is to erase the wealth disparity, uh, to erase overall the control of money upon the human people uh the upon the souls you know that are having the experience there and, and uh liberating these ones from that and and re-establishing um what are the uh, the full virtue from the heart the love and uh and of course uh you know the sharing and all of the good things upon the world so to do that we had to divinely eradicate the control of money and we have gone ahead and created that timeline and what we are now doing is uh we are lifting and integrating the masses into the timeline that we have created and this first 5d timeline that we have created for uh all of humanity and the masses in this human experience is the one uh, to liberate them from the control of money and the suffering, uh, starvation, misery, the things that have come up. So this is what is happening currently. It, it has also been sped up to the degrees, and this is also another reason why uh, things are happening so rapidly because we have the mass arrests uh, to clean up such a huge, uh, a huge, I'm looking for the words, a huge segment of uh, ones that were here uh, that are dark and, you know, you know we have millions of representations uh, and minions if you will and upon the surface of gaia uh, out of what is let's say an eight billion population there is actually about uh, 5.38 billion that are actually real souls so and they are souls that are ascending so not all of what you consider as humanity is ascending and the reason why is because the rest is not simply are not human with the soul so the darkness they had the remnants of the darkness what are, are still here in the 4d to, during this transitory ascension process uh, they had their last negotiation um, opportunity in linear time 2015 and what was decided at that time is that uh, those that were uh, from the darkness uh, that did have a, a dark soul if you will 
uh, they had to make their choices, and there was no more negotiation on the higher divine levels after linear time 2015. So what you do see is you have here currently the dark minions that uh, they need to be separated from the timeline and it's done not in just one way. It's divinely assured as part of the separation uh, process that uh, they are separated either through the Death process, the disappearance, and even with uh, some of the dark ones that use uh, to do the right things that wanted to come with this ascension. There was a redemption process that was offered uh, very quickly uh, by the light. They were asked to come forward and reveal all of the dark things they have done and. Uh, to assist with the light, with um, bringing to the surface many of the documentations and uh, evidence required to give to the masses to uh, substantiate and, and justify uh, on the lowest divine levels of what was occurring, the reasons why these mass arrests and this global cleanup had to take place. So, you know, I'm getting a little bit deeper into some of the reasons why this is occurring and why I had to, but I'm getting in deeper from the creation of divine uh, plan, you know, with what we had decided what would occur here on the surface and for the most part how it would occur. And uh, so the coronavirus, uh, you know, each one of you knows we just... Uh, we are actually in a waiting period for mostly the monetary transition to occur in, in the of humanity. So uh, this is all a very good thing. <clears throat> now, during this time, what I am uh, presently doing is uh, energetic work. I'm very busy with that. And uh, in the higher levels, as I mentioned before, without getting in uh, to details and uh, it needs to be done at this time, and I'm sitting here in uh, the most perfect divine place in Egypt, and and there are many divine reasons why I'm exactly where I'm at at this time. So I, as well, uh, you know, I am. We are uh, creating also higher aspects and higher timelines. So. I am concur I'm currently mostly busy at creating more of the new. And uh, so having said that, while I'm waiting, so uh, many of you also are, are doing higher energetic uh, divine work, whatever your guide to do. And everyone always does exactly what they're supposed to be doing, and they do it perfectly. So having said this, I wish to reiterate at this time, to fully trust yourself, fully trust what you're given to do. And with the human experience, and, and of course, uh, being in this reality, have you been so strong? And that is increasing minute by minute. You're even seeing uh, how you're becoming so much more powerful and indeed uh, it's for very good divine reasons so now after uh, after the aftermath if you will of uh, the curfew and the restrictions placed upon humanity here which may take you know uh, it may take several weeks so we'll see what occurs with it uh, after this, uh, you are seeing the divine leaders uh, are emerging to begin uh, to be a more prominent position of power, which it needs to be done. And you will see administration as the governments and uh, the countries uh, swiftly transition into the new paradigm that we have created the, the template uh, 5D grid, if you will, is 
that act here to do that. And also, the divine work and creating, it's very expensive the things that we have in store and that many of you know about interdimensional travel and uh, many beautiful things you can do with the physical vessels, the organic vessels that you have, which are transitioning. Uh, so we are actually in the most blissful, glorious times right at this point. Uh, once everyone knows what it is learning, it's just coronavirus is one of the hugest blessings ever to occur upon the surface at this time. And that is the way that all of you as co-creators also need to look at it with that understanding. Uh, for example, reason, you know, if you're uh, uh, at such a level that you are extensively co-creating, you do not wish to have your thoughts in your field starts and all that because as a creator uh, one of the basics that you know is, uh, where your thoughts go flow thinking it's bad and for everyone you're actually energizing that and you're adding to that scenario and you're also creating that for yourself so again the trick one of the tricks your immunity to the corona is just letting go of fear and go to the place of full surrender and trust. for those of you that are just awaiting these are your times for uh trust and creator and trusting yourself to the fullest and you know it, it is when you begin to look at the beautiful aspects also uh at the family levels and the individual level what this uh coronavirus has created by let's say uh allowing for ones to be alone with your families or even on an individual basis at this time it gives you such valuable time to reflect on the old reality uh why this even occurred it gives you the valuable time of what actually happening so for classes are in their homes uh, you know most of these are people are on their internet and they are looking for answers and uh, divinely you know it'll be put into their awareness about the ascension and uh, of course about uh, the global cleanup so very rapidly they're becoming uh, more informed and so you can masses are awake very quickly and uh, so heaven said there is no going back to the old the way things were uh, a few months ago no this ascension keeps going forward imminent it's divinely assured so it's a uh, the virus where it put people in their back with their families creating actually that stronger the energy that is needed as well so you, you have one but also with their family so uh, for some a little chaotic but now uh, they began to change how they think they're secluded from the matrix and the grind if you will so it gives great time for them to think and uh and to know what they want in life and to reflect back on what they have that they don't want so this also is directly attached to the ascension so that at the soul level they'll feel you know that things have to change and 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 that they do and that they are also now so many benefits uh with this and it just divine attributes for what it's doing and of course you know bringing ones together the communities and the sharing and the assisting each other it's just you know different what society was about uh what the dark ones put in the competition 
and looking out for number one, all the selfishness involved with that, and of course the greed and you know, uh, in the robotic uh, mundane matrix of having a job, going to work to make money and uh, to buy things and doing life just going through so again, the time for is totally changing. Uh, also, I wish to look at the benefit of, of parents earning a whole operation uh, had did in respect to family no began separating the children from the the parents uh, in, in a certain way that uh, you know you would have children three years old going into daycare and even younger and you know beginning school or four years old and uh, these sort of things kept uh, the important innocence of the child suppressed and even taken away so what they intend to do was to put the children in uh, daycare or separated from the parents and in schools uh, much earlier to begin the conditioning and the programming to rob them of their innocence, which is actually their divine prowess. And uh, so this as well is uh, the bonding between the parent is being uh, revamped. And also with that, the parents will begin to see and learn more than that what the children also are able to give to them. So it, it's a beautiful time for that, the bonding and much benefits there. And with the family and the realization of, you know, what they were missing by being caught into the mundane and the control of money and uh, so. Uh, we all know this, and uh, and just to uh, touch base on that, and to share with it, uh, share with you with those things. So all good. Coronavirus, perfect and perfect timing. So many of us were tired waiting for this time. So it's upon us. It, it is here, which is beautiful. Now. As I mentioned, this is a new platform. Um, could someone, uh, the last comment I see is uh, Rita Marie says, thanks, Rick. Can uh, can someone just put a comment, let me know that I'm watching this uh, since the beginning, um, the quality of this. No, I'm not glitching. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Okay. Yeah, see what I'm getting on this end, uh, it keeps uh, the video keeps going off and on. So I was on. Okay, I'm just reading a lot of your comments there. Maybe better on the replay, Susan says. Yeah, I hope so. Okay, as long as it's understandable, and I'll, I'll keep it short. 
uh, as we know, so many also are on the the end time globally, so it does uh, affect the servers, what have you, and the rest of uh, the internet overall. So pretty much, uh, yeah, coronavirus is a good thing. Uh, I have many things that from many of you, and what I'm saying is that, uh, you know, I love each and every one of you, and in the past, I always tried to respond with a heart. Uh, you know, to acknowledge, read what you said or answer a question. However, uh, I'm so busy at this time and uh, there are many messages in my inbox uh, since uh, uh, to go again. Uh, you'll know that I read the book at each and every one. I just may not put a response. Uh, when I get around to them because of the time factor. So just letting you know here that I'm very busy working on uh, very uh, much higher things at this just do not. And however, there is a is on that. Here. Leave a heart or reply. I love each one of you and all of us, of course. So if it's just not expressed in a heart, you'll know that I'm just trying to uh, limit messages so I can get ones that are um, are focused upon the priority at this time. So that's great. Uh, you know, we have amazing things, a lot of things indeed that I could talk about at this time, but uh, I felt the coronavirus thing uh, just to get that out there uh, because that is the most uh, prominent uh, part right now. And again, everyone uh, just uh, we go with it and we wait and uh, we see there on the other end of it. As I said, uh, what I'm feeling here is weeks. It's possible, uh, of course, several weeks, but at least a couple, two weeks. Uh, I'm kind of feeling it may be at least three weeks uh, during the course of that time. Uh, of course, stock up on your water and also have some cash money because uh, during this transition, it's still possible that uh, your bank cards will not work and it is possible that some banks may be closed for a, a short and definite period so it's good to have some cash out you know so you can go to a store and, and and get some supplies if you need them so lots of good water and it is prudent to yeah have some and time is a uh, very what you spend inside at the time, so you don't need to go out and be uh, subjected to uh, the negative energy that may be out there as well. So you keep yourself in your uh, vibratory fields, the stroke, which uh, benefits you and, and more greatly at this time. So I'm just uh, thinking, yeah, that's pretty well pretty well it, everyone knows that this, you know a, a, a huge portion of this live is also to let the ones know that may be just awakening that indeed there is something very great and magnificent that is occurring on the other side of the panic and the scare it's pretty much uh, better so uh, it's mostly for the benefit of any that, uh, you know, that doesn't uh, know fully what's going on. And having said that, with all of, uh, you know, what I watch in my feed uh, as a gauge, I see so many of you out there, just very beautiful, heightened work at sharing what you know and telling everyone, you know, keep calm. It's not what you think. It, uh, from my heart, 
of you. But once night, uh, I shared a bit of an audio. It was dark. dark um, let you hear in Egypt here in uh, Giza, you know, from the roof. Um, will it translated in? To so you should go up at from eleven thirty in the evening until I believe one after one p.m. in the morning. Uh, they were still at times they would uh, shout from the rooftops, from their windows. You know, God is great. A uh, a very powerful, innocent, um, and, and very strong knowing that you know their prayers would be answered and that trust what's in there and, and within the children just so beautiful to the top of their uh lungs if you will the top of their voices uh, just crying out from the rooftops to god to end you know the this global misery for the masses and and it is it, it these prayers are answered and I can guarantee you that and ascertain that to anyone that's watching. However, there is a, a duration of linear time to get to the other side of this, and it has to go this way. Uh, so there has to be patience with this so that we get this process done. It needs to be done now. It is being done. And on the other side, great things are are. Transitioning in time, we are transitioning the public, the mass, to limit what uh, shock, futuristic shock. It is done transitionally. So we're through, as you can see, uh, because of the divine importance for it. Uh, also, because of, uh, let's say, Gaia's place in the universe with uh, with the other alien races, if you wish, or these are part of us are actually past grand past that uh, these. Uh, uh, First contact, these do occur very in the very near futures. Uh, it depends on the individual uh, for what timeline you are on, uh, what experience is this, but they do, and it puts uh, Gaia uh, Earth um, in her proper place in universal timing. Um, let's say roughly around 2012. Uh, when Gaia was taken out of 3D and put in 4D, at that time she was in the universal uh, placement and in interaction with other life forms in the universe. She was at that time 123 linear years behind. And one of the reasons for that was that uh, the darkness had had manipulated technologies that were released here to advance humanity. One of the most influential parts that, of history that restricted that was six with what was upon the surface. And uh, let's say it was an ongoing negotiate, not a negotiation, but uh, let's say it was an ongoing uh, divine thing where the darkness was supposed to assure that humanity uh, would rapidly catch up to date uh, in regards to first contact and 
uh, other things with uh, different aspects of the galactics and uh, they reneged on that the darkness did uh, so there come the time in 2012 I like to say father put his foot down in the linear time that this is enough and this is also why your ascension went into full swing at that time there was no more negotiation with the with that dark aspect they were told what to do uh, for reasons they did not believe or thought they could create themselves to the status of the prime creator and obviously no that did not work that's not how things work uh, however out of their desperate attempts uh, because they knew um, they knew what was going to occur they just continued to fight and they would not reconcile any of these things uh, to transition it so th where universal law was broke to the extent that it was it also opened the floodgates uh, for more of you and us uh, to begin to access uh, the other existences of our soul which contains all of your divine gifts and your your powers as co-creators and uh, so that we could do this work to do the cleanup here upon the surface and you may refer to us as the ground crew uh, and uh, this is what we do so you have all of the ascended masters and uh, the galactics and just so many more of us that are here to ascertain and assure that everything does divinely get changed here and catch up um, an experience with the rest of the universe and to uh, be on the applicable right timelines where it's supposed to be because it's the human experience is not the only soul experience out there as we know and uh, we are connected, the humans are connected to everything as we all are. So uh, what happens here upon the planet affects what happens in the other closer dimensions, which includes the universe. So it's very important things occur. Anyhow, I'm not rambling on too much more about that. So everything is great. Yes, uh, ever uh, been during uh, the very, very good things occurring and uh, doing much very beautiful energetic work. Uh, this physical vessel, I'm just so pleased with uh, the advancement of the gifts and what I am allowed to divinely have working and activated at this time, but very rapidly. Uh, more of my gifts but also your gifts are, are being activated and allowed uh, to facilitate uh, the current levels of this ascension so many of you you're just you're becoming stronger and stronger and it's uh, to play roles for some of you that you will play here in the very near futures so the leadership roles as so it, it varies the experience, but every role is created to be so soon vanity to the full as you know it's real it's getting stronger and now is the time to not question anything and most certainly have no doubt and uh trust fully in creator and know that uh, uh, the panic from the masses is not uh, the truth of where we are going and what we are actually is occurring so woo, namaste peace kisses wings from both eyes and uh, you oh and I'm taking a little bit more energy as you can
types of energy work, which I'm very happy for, and uh, these are all very good things. So uh, many miracles coming for all of us in the future, miracles beyond anything recorded uh, in human history yet. So let's see what occurs. <laughs> I love you all. Love and light and most blessed, amazing day, night yet.